Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a 12 by 12 uh, paper project and I'm making a folio. It's an interactive folio folder or you could also use this as a base uh, to create a journal as well. And there is an option of having an extra uh, pocket flip page if you would like to add one of those in there. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you could um, make this really lovely folio and then you could decide how you would like to um, put yours together um, for your uh, for yourself so this is the folio that i made i haven't finished it i haven't done any decorating and i still want to add uh, some pages in here so i could make this as a journal as well and then once i've finished uh, the completed um folio or journal i'll come back and show you how i've uh, finished it but this paper that i'm using for this uh, folio and for the tutorial that i'm going to show you in case you're wanting to know the papers that i'm using it's um by die cuts with a view 12 by 12 paper pad and it's called the floral couture couture uh, i think that's how you say it it is just a beautiful paper with gorgeous lovely uh roses and i think ponies i'm not sure what kind of flowers they are but the colors are so vibrant and it has that sort of a shabby vintage um uh, pa pattern or papers um in the paper pattern it's just i mean look at that isn't that just gorgeous uh, so these are this is the paper that i'm using and i'll show you um how it looks like and then i'll show you the step by step and um the options you could uh make yours uh so this is um the cover and it also um i've also made a hidden paper clip as well um to coordinate with the uh, folio this here is the closure so i haven't decided how i want to um, create the closure so i'm not sure if i want to add a velcro uh, to the part here or i'm going to add some string or I'm not too sure yet, but it's already on here, so it's ready for me to just decide how I want to finish it. And then up here is the hidden paper clip. So it's really, uh, really lovely. I did some, um, just created like a little cluster of some lace and some bits and pieces of fabric with a little uh, tiny yo-yo that I hand stitched. And I'm going to have these in my shop as well. I do have some of these fabric yo-yos in my shop, but they're more the printed papers. Um, but I'm going to have uh, another listing with just the satin, satin fabric um, yo-yos. So this is a smaller size. I don't have the. Oh, do I have the larger size here? This is the larger size. So I have hand stitched these, and. I may even have the a larger size to this as well, um, but you'll get a pack of random different satin fabric uh, yo-yos if you wanting to purchase them from my store. I haven't listed them yet because I'm still making them and trying to package them up. This is the larger size actually. This is the same colour. It's a beautiful champagne colour. Um, so I placed that in the middle here as a little centre piece and then I added a little like a rhinestone dangle at the bottom with a antique bronze safety pin and a the hidden paper clip so i've just put it up here for now because this the extra piece that we're going to cut out will make the hidden paper clip so i place it up there and that looks pretty pretty to decorate the front and then it opens up this way and there is a side pocket uh, where you could add some of your journal cards or some note cards or whatever you would like to add in here so it's a nice deep pocket and it's nice and long so the height is six inches in height but you're going to have less pocket um width because you're going to add glue to the top and bottom so it'll be a little bit less than six inches in height once you add your uh, pieces inside the pocket and this is one of the cutter parts inside the from the paper pad and then over here is a the extra flip page that um that is inside the folio so there is a tuck pocket here and this is another cut apart from the same tour by tour paper pad and then i added added a vellum sheet to the flip page 
so um, you can still still see through the back and then when you turn it over it actually is another side tuck pocket here as well with another journal card and then I just created a little pull tab here and some chiffon ribbon to tie the side and decorates the side as well uh, same paper pad and then I use a book page um, on the back here so I was able to have the two I've got the side pocket there and the other side tuck pocket here and this book page also just helps hide the glue from the vellum page as well so I thought that was a, a great idea for me to do that and I even made it so you could still peek through and see the edge of the book page and I only use the book page because the uh, papers are much thinner and the paper pad or the paper from the paper pad it's sort of quite a thick heavy weight paper so I didn't want to add another heavy weight paper strip to the back here because it'll just make it more bulky so that was just a perfect um, paper thickness for that and then over here is another side tuck pocket and again another uh, cut apart from the 12 by 12 and all I've done here was I these two were together and I just cut them out and fold that over and it looks like a little booklet so I'm going to make this into a little journal booklet uh, after um, the video and then I'm going to show you how I've made this into a booklet as well um, so that goes in there nicely and then it turns over this side and there is a blank double page and this is a, a great spot and you can decide what you would like to do here you could leave it as is or you can add some paper to the front here and here and then use that as somewhere to journal on both sides you can add an envelope a library pocket add some more little tuck pockets here using some trim some lace so it's a great spot here for you to play around with and do what you like here or you can leave it and then over here is a top deep pocket and I made a file tab note card size so it's a great spot here to do some writing um, so you could also use this for whatever you like so it's a nice deep pocket to add um, what you would like in there as well and I just place that in there and then that's the back here which is again you can add another envelope here to create another tuck pocket so there's a lot of ways you could uh, utilize this out a folio to make it to suit you but I'm going to show you how to make this and it's not as hard as it looks so I'll just put these back so you grab your 12 by 12 paper and I did use double sided paper because you'd be able to get to see the two different patterns and um, so I'll grab my 12 by 12 paper and I'll just grab my trimmer So I'm using this um, another paper from the die cuts with a view. Uh, what's it called? Floral couture. Co couture. <laughs> um, okay. So what we'll do first, we're going to line your paper um, at the ten and a half inch mark. So it's on the ten and a half inch, and we're going to cut it out. And then you're going to have this strip. I'm going to leave this like this for now. And I'm just going to show you what you could do with this before we cut it. Um, just to give you a couple of options with that. And you need your scoreboard. So what we're going to do first, we're going to... Um, we're going to line your paper on the 12 inch side. And we are going to score at uh, six inches, six inches all the way down. And then we're going to turn your paper around the other side. And we're also going to score that at six inches. Okay. So I'm just going to try and find those score lines. Um, all right, so this is your ten and a half inch uh, side, and that score line is six inches. And then you've got that score line along here. We are going to fold this up, so we're going to fold it in half. So it's 
So this is the uh, ten and a half inch side. Fold that in half, and you'll see that the score line here is um, sh uh, shorter in width to this side. So you want to make sure that score line is there. I'm just going to fold it first. Just going to press this down so it makes it easy we're going to open this up and then we are going to cut along that score line all the way till we get to the part where they both cross over so you can use your paper trimmer if you want um, if you need to make a, a straight cut I'm just going to use my scissors So now you've got these two pieces. So we're going to bring this back up. And then this one here, we're going to bring this back and go along that fold line or score line. Just line that up. And press. So if your paper is a bit more uh, medium weight or lightweight, it'll be easier to fold. This paper is quite, quite a heavyweight sort of paper. And then we're going to bring this side and we're going to bring this over and we're going to bring this fold about half an inch away from this edge. So you can just uh, eyeball the measurements. So what we're just trying to do, we just want to be able to be able to, uh, sorry, be able to uh, peek this little piece so uh, your pattern part so you can uh, just go as far in you like and then this will determine the depth of your pocket so this is I'm happy to have mine about there and if you're uncomfortable you can use your scoreboard to get the right measurements if you want but just do it this way and then this one here we're going to fold this in front as well Now, whichever way is easy for you to create this fold, we also want to fold this so that we're going to create this side pocket. So I'm going to, I'm just going to go in this, I might go out this way just so you can see. Let's create the fold this way so at least gives us a guide. We want to do the same and create this fold away from this fold about half an inch as well. So it's just sort of layering on top of the other. So just try to find... Um, give it the same sort of width so if you're happy with that where you've made your fold we're going to bring this back in so that's going to go inside now and then now we just press all of that and we've pretty much made your folio folder now already and we're just going to now assemble it and glue it all together so we've got that so this will become your side pocket, which is this one. And then we have this side here, which is this part. And then when you turn this over, that's your blank page. And then this will be your top pocket. But we have here a extra flip page. And that is this little strip that we have here. So what I was uh, mentioning, if you're happy to just have your folio folder without the extra flip page, you can go ahead and glue everything down and then you pretty, um, and add your uh, thumb notch. So you're going to glue up here and down here and that will give you your side pocket. You're going to um, either create a thumb notch here if you like. You're going to add glue up here and down here where that score line is. And that will give you your uh, next side pocket. And then over here is your uh, top pocket. You can add your thumb notch here first. And then you're going to bring this down and you're going to glue up along here and along here. And then you're going to close that up and that will give you your folio folder all, all done. And then you've got this part here and you can use this as a belly band you can just go right around and create a belly band and then there will still be enough for you to create a hidden paper clip so you'd want to cut this down to one and a half inches and oh no, sorry three inches 
So cut that down to three inches and you should still be able to create a belly band with the remaining piece. Uh, so just check on the measurements first, but um, you can still make your hidden paper clip and a belly band. But I'm going to create a extra flip page here because I love interactive folio folders with some extra tuck pockets. So let's do that. So let's cut this a piece out first. So what we're going to do, we're going to uh, cut it at six inches. So pretty much cutting it in half. So we have two pieces. So I've got one. We have one piece at six inches by one and a half inches. And then this next piece, we're going to also cut this one in half again. And these two pieces will be three inches by one and a half inches. So now we have three pieces. And to use the little scoreboard. So my um, other one is in the lounge room. I'm just going to quickly make a score line with this piece. And what you do first is with this piece, this is going to come here. So that piece is going to be placed here to create that extra flip page. Just decide first which way you'd like your cover showing um, if you're using double-sided paper. So in this case, I'm going to have this part as the part showing. And so I'm going to score on this side. So you're going to score along this side. And just going to make a little score line at about um, a quarter of an inch. And just along that score line, I'm just going to bring that in, just cutting that out. So it just sort of looks like that. And then we'll just create a little fold. So we're able to um, glue that down. And let me just grab these pieces. So you also want to have a piece of a vellum sheet or tracing paper, or if you don't have any vellum paper, you can just use some scrap paper as well instead of a vellum piece, and that will still work. And then I've got a book page piece that I've cut out and I've cut that at one and a half inches by six inches and then the extra uh, vellum piece or your paper scrap you're going to cut that at three and a half inches by six inches so they're the two pieces so it was um, one and a half inches by six inches three and a half inches by six inches let's put that down move these so now let's just assemble the folio first so everything is in its place I think we stopped that no sorry stop no no don't do that yeah he's still doing the um paw licking but not as bad as he was before um he's gone a little bit better it's my little jester is always licking his paws all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to just use a my two inch circle punch. I'm just going to create my thumb notch first. And I'm also going to do one here. So like that. And I'm just going to go over here and do one up here as well. So I'll, let's just do that. And get it as centered as I can. All right, so they're all done and let's just glue the pockets down so we don't get confused so i'm going to glue up here and then i'll glue this one down as well so the two side pockets are done Finish up with these two first, and now we can add the extra uh, flip page. Just try and get these the glue to set. So this piece here, 
the part that we made the fold that's going to get placed at the back here this part here we're going to glue that to the back so then that will get placed in the front like that and once it's glued you'll have that as your flip page so we're going to add some glue to the little piece that we made the fold I'm going to bring this back. I'm just going to so I'm just going to open this middle part just to help me press that down. Just press it all. So you open that and that should be glued and then you have that and that should be ready for me to glue down here. So I'm going to flip all that down and it doesn't matter, this will get glued afterwards again anyway once we've made the pocket. So I'm going to add glue on the inside of this score line and along the edge. So I'll just glue inside the score line. Bring that up, line it all up, and now you'll have a top pocket. And that's glued down, and then that should be all glued down as well. And that's done, and there's your cover. How good is that? I love these sort of folios. These are just so fun and interactive and you can flip and you know find all your little tuck spots. So what we'll do now, let's grab the little two extra pieces to create the side pockets. So this is the villain piece. I'm gonna that's gonna get placed in there and this is gonna be the tuck pocket here. So we're going to add glue now to the top here and along the uh, along the side and along the bottom and it's the same if you're using scrap paper just um, add your glue the same way and I'm just going to line everything up and press that down that should give me that side tuck pocket. So when you turn it over, you can see the glue. But if you're okay with that and you don't want to add another uh, extra pocket or to cover that up, you can leave it and just have this as the flip page and then you're, um, and that's pretty much done there. But I'm going to add the little book page there. And you can see it just gives it that extra decorative um, back, background to it. So I'll do the same now on this side. I'm going to glue just following the edge. should give me a, another tuck pocket at the back here. How fun is that? And that's all for that. And then you can have fun decorating. You could, um, you know, keep decorating your um, inside of your folio. And then I've got these two extra pieces. One will be for the hidden paper clip, which I had done in um, my other video. It's the same. Away, we're going to make the hidden paper clip. I'm going to use a gold paper clip, and this one is a 33 mil in length um, clip. And let's make the hidden clip first. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that in half 
Let me get fold that in half. And we're going to, I'm going to just on one side, go halfway, punch a half circle with, with, hold on a second. If you have a hole punch, I can't see where I'm going here. Hang on. I've got paper in here still stuck in here. One sec. Okay, that's a useful work now. I'm just gonna go in halfway. I don't know why it's not. Okay. Oh actually I use the larger size. I'll just do the large one. Okay, that's better. So I've just created a half circle notch down there and you want to have the smaller part of the clip inside the fold and the longer part of the clip at the back and then you're going to slide that down inside the little notch and that will hide your clip so you're not going to see it if you don't have a small hole punch you can still um just place it on there like like that it's fine you're going to just see a little bit of the clip but that's still fine but I'm just going to tuck that in like that. And then I'm going to um, seal that off now. And what I've done with my one, I've added some lace to the edge here to decorate that. Um, if you wanted to do that, add your, um, add your glue all, all over the inside. And then you're going to add your lace trim uh, to the side. Let's see if I've got some lace. Have I got some? I'll use. I might cut some more of this one. So let me just make one in case you want to add your trim. So all I'm going to do is. Place that there. and then the other side and I'll trim it down all the extra pieces I think I did it the other way with the other clip but this will still work okay I'm just going to trim all this part so now you, the clip is at the back and then I'm going to Cut up a little bit just up to where the clip is. Just going to create like a little banner shape, fishtail sort of shape. So I've just decorated that on the edgy, and then it's the clip's pretty much done. And then you can embellish your clip and add some clusters of fabric or and. Um, Add some flat back pearls or anything you like so there's your paper clip all done that's just your the base part and then just have fun decorating and add whatever you like to it and so that's all done okay so now we've done the hidden paper clip and then this part here um, is the part I'm going to use for the closure in the front here which I'm still deciding how I want to to do that so all I've done was I'm just going to fold a little bit of this back in allowing enough for me to um, use um, just to allow me to decide what I like to do to create the closure so I've done that I'm gonna fold that down add a good amount of glue I mean you can stitch it I guess if you want to stitch but you'll have to, I think that might be a bit difficult. You'll have to um, do that first before you assemble your book. But I think this is just uh, just an, another easy way to do it. So that's the part that's glued. And this will also give you room to move if your um, folio gets too bulky. Now there's a lot, a bit of give with this sort of kind of closure, so you could um, 
close it. So this is the um, folio, interactive folio folder or your journal or to create your journal um, using a 12 by 12 packer with the extra flip page. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to use this part and add uh, some pages in here using my uh, tea stained paper to create a section here to do some journaling. And then um, I'm also going to create a little uh, a note booklet journal with this one and I'm just going to start filling up and maybe add a bit more decorating and uh, once it's all done I'll uh, come back and show you my completed folio slash journal um, folder and um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was um, an easy step-by-step uh, -step, uh, for you to follow and I will see you all soon in my next video bye for now